I am going to discuss an absorption. Absorption is a surface tension. Now, I will be discussing about absorption experiment. In absorption experiment, two types of components are used. One of them is adsorbate. And other one is adsorbent. Adsorbate is a component which you want to remove. Adsorbate is a component which you want to remove. And adsorbent is a component. Adsorbent is a component by which you want to remove the adsorbent. Here, this experiment, we choose MB. MB means methylene blue. Methylene blue as they absorb it and bamboo leaves as a adsorbent. Generally, adsorbents are solid, but not mandatorily. You have to use bamboo leaves and MB. You choose anything. Suppose you can choose activated carbon, other leaves as a adsorbent. Similarly, you can choose other toxic component which you want to remove as a adsorbent. But the experimental procedure of, of bad adsorption is same. Before starting the batch adsorption experiment, we will make a stock solution of adsorbent. Stock solution, we'll, we will make a stock solution of adsorbate, hair adsorbate, MB. Flux. At first, take a 1000 ml volumetric flux and then at 1000 mg MB. After that, at double distilled water. At double distilled water until the mixture volume achieved 1000 ml. Okay. And made a 1000 ppm solution. 1 mg. MB is added in 1 liter uh, 1000 ml solution is called 1 ppm. Similarly, here 1000 mg MB is added in 1 liter or 1000 ml solution is called 1000 ppm solution. Now, your test solution is prepared from the stock solution by diluting using double distilled water. Now, prepare different concentration of solution from stock solution and make a calibration curve. Here we are taking 250 ml conical flux. 250 ml conical flask. Okay. And 100 ml solution. And 100 ml solution. Here I am using it but it is not mandatorily to use it. You can use anything. Okay. Suppose we want to make a 100 ppm solution. Suppose we want to make a 100 ppm solution. Okay. From stock solution. Using V1H1 
equals to P2 S2 formula. Okay. What is the V1? V1 equals to volume which I am taking from stock solution. Volume which I am taking from stock solution. Okay. B1 S1 S1 equals to the concentration of the stock solution. What is the concentration of the stock solution? 1000 ppm. Okay. S1 1000 ppm. What is the V2? V2 equals to volume which I need. What is the V2? Volume which I need. Which I need. So here V2 equals to 100 ml. And S2 is the concentration in ppm which I need. 100 ppm S2. Okay. Now V1 equals to 10 ml. So the conclusion is I am taking 10 ml solution from stock solution and added 90 ml water added 90 ml water and then make a 100 ppm solution and then make a 100 ppm solution okay so using this formula we can make any concentration of solution from stock solution at first we are taking different of concentration like 1 ppm 1 ppm 5 ppm 10 ppm 100 ppm etc and the measuring and then the measuring absorbency of individual concentration by using UV spectrophotometer and measuring absorbency of individual concentration by using UV spectrophotometer UV spectrophotometer okay suppose 1 ppm 0 0.01 5 ppm 0 0.05 10 ppm 0 0.1 100 ppm 1 okay and then make a graph ppm versus absorbency and then make a graph ppm versus absorbency ppm versus absorbency then make a graph ppm versus absorbency and this graph go through the origin because at concentration zero the absorbency zero this is a relationship is called calibration curve this is a relationship is called calibration curve from this curve we are getting a relationship between ppm and absorbency from this curve we are getting a relationship between ppm and absorbency from this relation we can measure the unknown concentration okay from this relation we can measure the unknown concentration
Now I am making a calibration curve using Excel. Here I am providing some data of PPM and absorbency. Then select the data and draw a scattered plot. Okay. Then select the data and draw a scattered plot. After plotting, select the point and then right click on it and then select the trend line. Now select set intercept 0 and then equation of chart and R square value and then close it. Now we can see that from this plot a relation between y and x we know that y equals to absorbency and x equals to ppm so we can write absorbency equals to 0 0.015 into ppm